good afternoon students uh, today in this video we are going to discuss two important problems uh, which is uh, concept wise very important to understand so i request you all to kindly pay attention and try to see these problems if possible see the very first problem we are going to discuss i'll read i have written the questions also so you people can uh, write it and free time you can try by your own also see what is this problem from a solid sphere of mass capital m and radius r a solid sphere of radius r by 2 is removed as shown find gravitational force on mass small m as shown so this is a one a bigger solid sphere and from this bigger solid sphere of radius r we removed a one smaller solid sphere of radius r by 2 and here is one small m mass is present so the question is what is the net force on this small m because of these two solid sphere so very important thing what we need to understand here uh, as we removed this solid sphere of radius r by 2 so no doubt in that how much mass we have removed of this sphere that we don't know so the first thing what we need to do we need to find the mass of this removed part right so we will first find mass of mass of removed removed solid sphere is equals to how will you find now let us say i'll give you one example so aapke paas mein ek container hai uska andar mein total mass you know theek hai and from that total container of whatever mass it is having from that you removed some part of mass okay but we don't know how much mass you have removed so to find the mass of that removed part we know the total mass before removing and we know the volume of that container and how much how much part you have removed their volume also you know so you can find the mass of removed part let us say the mass of removed part i am taking it as m1 uh, okay so m1 will be total mass total mass is how much uh, previously it is having bigger solid sphere it is nothing but capital m right capital m divide by total volume total volume is sphere so it is 4 by 3 pi r cube into the volume of removed part what is that 4 by 3 pi and radius what is that removed part ka r by 2 r by 2 ka cube so what i will be getting this 4 by 3 pi 4 by 3 pi get cancel it is m by r cube into r cube divided by 2 cube is 8 so this this get cancel so what is the mass that is m by 8 so this is m1 this is the mass of removed part you may have question now that sir why we are finding the mass of this removed part beta c we need to find net force on this small m now so this small m ka force definitely it will be acting gravitational force but how much it is acting that we can find by the help of mass only because gravitational force is g m1 m2 by r square so until and unless you don't know the mass of this removed part how will you find the force on this right no so that's why the first part we need to find the mass of the removed part right now now we'll see the force we'll calculate force how many forces will act on this small m two forces one because of this bigger solid sphere and that will act in this side only so let us say this is f1 and removed part will be acting in this way let us say that is f2 okay so two forces are acting so we will find here force force on small m due to capital m capital m means solid sphere solid sphere of radius capital r so what is the force formula f is equal to g into m1 m2 so 1 m is capital m small m divided by r square so how much is the radius that is from here to here it is 2r so 2r ka square so what you will be getting here g capital m small m divided by 4r square this we got now now we'll see the force that is this is f1 let's say force on small m due to removed part removed part so what will be the force due to remove from here to here this is 2r so we'll have to subtract this r by 2 this r by 2 so f2 is equal to g into what is the mass of this remove part m by 8 so m by 8 into 
small m into what is the distance from here to here this is 2r minus r by 2 so we'll write 2r minus r by 2 the square so what you'll be getting g capital m small m by 8 into this is take lcm 2 to the 4 4r minus r is 4r minus r is 3r 3r by 2 ka square 9 r square by 2 ka square will be 4 so this is g capital m small m by this 4 will go to numerator so 4 ones are this 4 twos are 9 twos are 18 so this will be 18 r square so this is the value of f2 now we need to find net force so how will you find net force net force is equal to f1 minus f2 because f1 is bigger that's why net force will try to go to this side so f1 is how much g m m by 4 r square minus g m m by 18 r square so what can you take common g capital m small m by r square inside the bracket 1 by 4 minus 1 by 18 now if you take the lcm 18 minus 4 will be 14 by multiply this <clears throat> this will be g capital m small m divided by here you will get 7 this is 36 r square this is the net force acting at small m and it will be acting towards left or right it is towards left because net force is in this direction so this is one problem now the second problem what we are going to discuss that is a uniform this is very important problem a uniform rod of mass capital m and length l is placed at a distance l is placed at a distance l from a point mass small m as shown find force on small m here we need to find the force now here this is no doubt the rod so this rod will attract this small m towards its side but this is extended body so we cannot solve this problem as what we did previously between the two points so the very first thing we need to take here let us take this rod and take this rod this point as o, o. let us take one small part of this rod and let's say this rod is having length dx and it is at a distance of x from o okay and here we have small m small m which is at a distance of how much that is l right okay and this is also l now here we need to define some basic thing the mass per unit length because it is extended body so let's say let lambda be mass per unit length mass per unit length so lambda will be m by l okay now we have taken dx so for dx mass will be what dm so for smaller part for smaller part smaller part dm what is dm it is mass per unit length into length of that smaller part so lambda into dx what is dx that is dx only lambda is m by l into dx this is the value of dm so now we can make here dm this is my dm part right and this is my small m so from here to here it is x this is l so this will be 2l minus x so between these two this dm will attract this m towards its own side by some force and let's say that force is df so what is df df equal to g into m1 what is m1 m into m2 what is m2 dm divided by r what is r 2l minus x ka whole square okay now this is df but we need what f f where to where f will for act for how much part l length so f is equal to integration of df where df limit goes from 0 to l so we will substitute the value integration 0 to l df g into small m into dm divided by okay uh, this dm value we substituted dm divided by 2l minus x ka whole square okay put the value of dm so 0 to l gm by 2l minus x ka whole square into dm what is dm m by l into 
dx. Now here, what we have to do, we will take this g m m l outside because these terms will remain constant. We are integrating with respect to x, so this term is going to vary. So g capital M small m by l, I'll take out 0 to l remaining is 1 by 2 l minus x car square into dx. Now we need to integrate it by mathematical integration formula. We can write it as 2 l minus x car power minus 2 into dx. I'll take I'll take this term to numerator. So g capital M small m by l 0 to l. Now we'll integrate it. So integration of x to the power n is what? x to the power n plus 1 by n plus 1. So 2L minus x minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 into here we have to do substitution integration that is mathematical mathematical part so I will not go in that detail but iska integration lene ka baad you will again get minus 1 limit goes from 0 to L so G small m capital M by L now minus minus become plus minus 2 plus 1 become minus 1 so this I can write it in this way 2L minus x limit goes from 0 to L okay I'll put upper limit and lower limit so then what I'll be getting I'll be getting it is equal to G capital M small m by L right upper limit 1 by 2L minus L right minus lower limit 1 by 2L minus 0 okay so g capital m small m divided by l this is 2l minus l is l minus this will be 1 by 2l okay so this is g capital m small m by l 2l minus l is l by 2l square so this l l will get cancelled and what you're getting g capital m small m divided by 2l square so this is the net force acting at small n right so i hope you all understood this both problems once again here what we did we did uh, have a solid sphere isme se humne ek chota solid sphere ko bahar nikal diya aur yahan pe ek small m tha uska upar kitna force kaam karta hai wo find karna tha isme rod tha yahan pe ek chota mass m tha uska upar kitna force kaam karta hai wo hame nikalna tha हमने कैलकुलेट कर लिया और ये भी किधर जाएगा टुवर्ड्स रॉड का तरफ जाएगा सो टुवर्ड्स लेफ्ट ओके आई होप यू ऑल अंडरस्टूड दिस टू प्रॉब्लम्स प्लीज ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड इफ एनी डाउट्स यू हैव यू कैन आस्क इन कमेंट्स आल्सो इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई विल स्टार्ट द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज एक्सेलरेशन ड्यू टू ग्रेविटी एंड इन दैट टॉपिक वी विल आल्सो सी व्हाट विल बी द इफेक्ट ऑन एक्सेलरेशन ड्यू टू ग्रेविटी एट अ सर्टेन हाइट बिलो सर्टेन डेप्थ एंड ऑन अ लैटिट्यूड so i request you all to kindly see those videos so that you will be getting a good knowledge of all these concepts and i will be going to teach you with respect to comparative part also so you can practice it in home and utilize this lockdown free time very carefully and very uh, dedicatedly and uh, fruitfully thank you